Hi, my name is Dr. Christopher Luddingham, Senior Associate Dean in the College of Health Professions. And I want to welcome you to the College of Health Professions and our brand new Bachelor of Science in Integrated Health Sciences. This is a fascinating and much needed new degree program within the College of Health Professions. And we're housing it in the college, not in any regular or standard department, because this program will impact everyone, not only in the college, but in the Division of Health Affairs. So what is the Bachelor of Science in Integrated Health Sciences? This is a fantastic degree that is a 120 hour bachelor's program that prepares graduates to obtain an entry level position as a health science professional. Now as a health science professional, that means you're going to be able to graduate and get a job working at a community health agency for business or educational organizations, public health departments, nursing homes, doing activities such as patient education, designing and delivering health science presentations, training your fellow health workers. You'll be able to do a lot with this program. However, that's not the only reason we developed this new Bachelor of Science in Integrated Health Sciences. We developed this because it is now also the academic starting point for our competitive undergraduate healthcare related academic pathways in the division. And I say these competitive undergraduate pathways, these are the programs that even though you declare your major in something like nursing or social work or clinical laboratory sciences, you still have to apply to get into the program once you've met all the prerequisite requirements. So when you go into Apply Texas as a student, or if you're an advisor working with a high school student or a college student, they may have declared their major as they want to go into nursing or social work, clinical laboratory sciences, communication sciences and disorders or nutritional sciences, but they're going to have to complete a secondary application. Now for financial aid purposes, we wanna make sure our students get the support they need. So they need to be in a degree earning program. And if you're a pre-major, that's not being in a degree earning program. So all students who want to go into nursing, social works, clinical laboratory sciences, communication sciences and disorders or nutritional sciences will start out in the BSIHS and we'll use this program and we've designed it in a way so that you can get all your prerequisites in and complete your gen ed core. And then when you're ready to apply, if you apply to these programs and then get accepted, we will execute a change of major and you will become a nursing major, a social work major, a CLS major, a nutritional sciences major, or a COMD major. So this is for your benefit, but right now, in Apply Texas, you still pick the career you want, but behind the scenes, we're gonna work a little bit of magic to make sure you get the support you need. Now this program can also be used to help fulfill most of the requirements for health-related professional graduate programs. You'll be earning your bachelor's degree, but we have a concentration built that would allow you to complete in addition to the standard coursework, all of the prerequisites for application to programs like physician assistant studies, occupational therapy, physical therapy, medicine, dentistry, and more. Now, a word of warning here, when you get ready to decide to make that next step, you want to go to a PA program like at UTRGV, you wanna double check and make sure that the courses you're taking are on the prerequisite list for that program. And your advisor in the Academic Advising Center or here in the program within the College of Health Professions can help you do that. So what does this program really look like? This program, as I mentioned, is a 120 hour Bachelor of Science program. And we have taken that and I'm gonna break it down for you. We have the general education core that's required of all university students. And we standardized the core requirements in this program 
So it matches up with all the other programs within the Division of Health Affairs. That's the College of Health Professions, the School of Social Work, and the School of Nursing. Now, if you continue and finish your BSIHS, you will complete the Health Science Professional Core, which is 30 hours. You'll have a few prescribed electives, depending on what concentration you choose, but let's look at these concentrations a little bit more. As I mentioned, we have three concentrations, the Clinical Professions Concentration, Health Services, and Professional Studies. Each one is 27 hours and includes an assortment of courses that you can take to complete that concentration. I'll go into more detail in just a moment. We also have 12 hours of support courses. These are classes that you typically need to get into pretty much all of the programs at UTRGV, but also they'll help you if you decide to go into that professional studies concentration or just complete the health services concentration. And there's a few free electives depending on which concentration you choose, but you'll be able to talk about that with your advisor. Now in choosing your concentration, as I've mentioned before, if you're interested in nursing, CLS, COMD, social work, or nutritional sciences, you're going to want to choose the clinical professions concentration. Within that concentration, we have listed all of the prerequisite courses for all of these programs. You're just going to pick and choose the classes you need for the program you're interested in. Actually, if you wanna think about it in a very simple way, each of those programs at UTRGB has a designated roadmap. You're going to follow that roadmap until you complete all of the prerequisites in the first two years or so. Now, when you complete everything, you apply and you get in, like I mentioned before, we'll do a change of major and you'll be a nursing major, a CLS major. However, if something happens and you don't get in, because these are competitive programs, you can stay in this concentration, finish, finish up your Bachelor of Science in Integrated Health Sciences, graduate with a degree that still makes you employable. Let's say you're just interested in health services. You will do the 30 hour core and then focus and take 27 hours of health services concentration courses, which will give you further training in courses like epidemiology and other health science areas to give you a skill set that makes you marketable as you enter the workforce as a health science professional. As I mentioned before, we also have the professional studies concentration. And this is designed for students who want to use the BSIHS as their degree to complete the prerequisites for graduate and professional degrees that they will apply to after they graduate or in their last semester. Basically what we've done here is we've listed all the courses we can in this concentration that apply to a broad variety of programs, including physician assistant studies, medical schools, dental schools, physical therapy and occupational therapy programs. However, we don't have everything listed. If you're interested in this type of postgraduate education, you will need to look at the prerequisite requirements and work with your advisor, whether that be in academic advising or within the college to make sure you're taking what you need so that you can apply to these programs at the appropriate time. With some programs, you have to apply almost a year out. So you've got to really pay attention. You want to make sure you complete the prerequisites in the right order. You don't want to put these off to the last semester because then you won't have them completed and it will delay your application up to a year if you're not careful. In the Bachelor of Science in Integrated Health Sciences, we are focused on student support. So for our first and second year students, we will be offering a variety of seminars and career exploration because maybe you chose nursing or social work, but you don't really understand what they do or we don't want you to get into a program and then find out, I hate this. So we are going to offer some great seminars. We're gonna have seminars and resources available on study skills so that you can be successful in every aspect of your college career. We'll have some professional development opportunities. We're gonna link you up and we're going to be offering tutoring. 
And then we'll have some student developmental activities. Activities designed so that you can meet and interact with your professors outside of the classroom. We're gonna have regular peer professional networking events, hopefully in a face-to-face -face scenario post COVID, but we're hoping to get you integrated within this healthcare team that we're developing because you are part of tomorrow's healthcare team. And lastly, we're gonna have some activities such as our IPE and me coffee chats because working as part of a team begins with getting to know your coworkers from an early stage and learning how to interact with other people in a professional environment. So the coffee chats will be designed to kind of give you some light training and have some fun as you work through the Bachelor of Science in Integrated Health Sciences. If you would like more information about this program, feel free to contact me at the following email address, bsihs at utrgb.edu, or you can go to the college homepage and check out the program information that's posted there.